Hi, this is Jilly Bling. I have a third project using Trucking Along Bundle. So the bundle includes the stamp set and the punch. And this is the third project. <clears throat> and if you order the bundle through me on or before Monday, November 6th, I would love to send you three free card kits. And this is the third one. And here is the second one. And your kits will include all the paper cut to size and any die cutting that I could do, I will do in advance. And of course you'll have the bundle so you can um, do all the stamping. So that's the second one. And then this is the first one with a little gift card holder in it. So let me know if you have any questions Otherwise, order the bundle and I will watch for what you order. And if you can, use host code right here. Okay, you ready to get started on this project? So it's kind of a fun fold because it sets up like that. So it goes flat for the envelope. And then can you see this little um, stair? <coughs> Excuse me, little stair step. Hmm, hold on. Okay, so there it is. And the gifts idea came from Lisa Freeman. She made a card and she had gifts just falling out of the truck and I love that. And this ribbon detail came from Jackie Williams. So it's kind of two different ideas all thrown into one. And we will also use stylish shapes for these squares. I love this little ribbon detail. Okay. So I have the, because we have to do some scoring. And the designer paper, this designer paper is called, well, I have more of it. I think I took the, um, the thing out. I think it's Joy. I'm going to look it up. Like Joy of Christmas or something like that. There's so many fun papers out right now. It's hard to keep up. So this is called, right here, Joy of Christmas. Look at that. It's not often that I'm right. Woohoo! Okay, so let's start out by scoring the navy paper, and I'll put all the paper cut sizes and scores on my blog, and my blog is jillybling.com. Okay, so the paper is cut to four and a quarter by 11. It's scored at one, two, six and a half. To make room over here. More room. One, two, six and a half. Okay, there's one. Two, six and a half. Okay. And then this paper, which is this piece right here, the part that kind of pops up. Hoping you could see that. Oh yeah, you could see it right there. This piece here is cut to two and a half by eight and a half, scored at five and a half. Five and a half. So when I look at this, it's like, that looks wrong, but it isn't. It's right. Okay, so let's work on these folds. Let's see. One, two, six and a half. Tony is gone for most of the weekend. I turned the heater up to 71. It's always at 68 and I'm always all bundled up and a little bit cold, especially in the evening. I don't know what's up with that, but I turned it up to 71. It's like I could go all day long. I'm loving it. 
Okay, so we have our folds. So let's put that together. And I'm gonna use liquid glue on this piece here, just a little at the bottom. And then on this one, right at the top. And put it in the middle. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm making sure that this one here looks a little bigger, so I'm going to push it over a little bit. Okay, and before I do the next one, I'm going to get the designer paper, and the designer paper is 4x4, four four, and it just gets put right back behind here. Probably should have attached that first, but at this point it's fine. Even if I had that top piece connected, it's still not a problem. And I'm going to put it up up to the top because the bottom part, I cut the paper a little bit short, but you don't see it because it's hidden behind this little accordion fold part right here. Okay, so we have that. Let me make sure you can see it. Okay, and now I'm going to put glue just on the bottom part. And I'll show you why here in a minute. But enough glue to hold it all together. And then while the card is closed, close this. And I'll show you why. Um, when you open the card to look inside, See how this paper kind of bends? It kind of bows a little bit. And if you had it fully attached, it would make, it, it, it just makes the card a little bit stiffer. But if you've got that little bit of a, just adhesive down here at the bottom, it just seems to work better. Okay, now I'm gonna put the designer paper across here. Where are all these pieces? Pretty paper. There's just a little decoration at the bottom. Okay, and then the pebbled path paper. Just because it matches this paper, and without it, if you put the rectangles on, pretend like this is a cut rectangle, it gets lost. So, a little bit of pebbled path will do just fine. Okay. So speaking of those squares, I will use these two die cuts, and these are from Stitch Shapes, or Stylus Shapes. Stitch shapes, that's an old one. I love stitch shapes. I love stylish shapes too. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out. So they'll go right on here soon. How about the words? Let's put the words on. So there's these words that are on crumb cake paper and then stamped on the white um, die cut um, square, the special delivery. So this one gets, both of these words are in the set, which is great. Wishing you a festive cr Christmas and then special delivery. And they're both stamped in memento. Good. I'm way up in the corner. Special delivery. Wouldn't you love to see a truck coming your way full of gifts? That's a special delivery. Okay. 
Okay. Boy, we're just we're just trucking along. How would it look like this? I don't know if I could do it now. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So maybe I could turn it over or something. So I'm going to cut out the words. Those will go right here with dimensionals. Okay. So on here, I will stamp the truck and a flying gift and lots of gifts. And you know, there's a stamp to color this in like um, we did on the prior two projects, but this time I'm coloring it in and I love the look of it. I love how vibrant it is. Okay, the gifts. You ready to do this? So, stamp gifts in there, but we need more. So, grab a mask. This mask, I just stamped it on um, my post-it paper and cut it out, just the top of it, because I wanted the handle. And it's gonna protect these gifts. So I could put more and more, like, four or five more. And it's nice to use um, paper that's a little bit thin because I stamped, oh, I, bad, that's bad. Um, I'm gonna do it again. I'll show you why. I missed the bow. And I stamped that polka dotted gift in the hood of the car. Do over. Oh my gosh, it's pouring out. Wow. It's like a downpour. It's kind of warm out there. It's not 71 degrees out there, but it's kind of warm. Okay, gifts. Okay, let's try this again. More gifts. More, do more. Do more. Wasn't there like a show where there was people that would always pile up their car with stuff? How's that? Counting the bows. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then one extra one. That's the flying out one. Because see on here? Oh, this one is kind of flying out. Okay, so now, because I put all the gifts on there, I have to fussy cut it and color it. But hold on. Never fear. Oh, magic TV. But we'll do the coloring on the inside. I didn't do that in advance. So, thinking about this at an angle. No, I don't think it's gonna work because I want him going uphill. Like, see how this one, he's like doing a wheelie. He's getting it. He is going uphill. Okay, let's stick to the plan. And then this one will be flying out, like way up there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do the shadow. The shadow is going to kind of go up a little bit. 
And there's a stamp for that. Okay, done with the smoky sling. And it's looking good. So on the sample card, I have these little hubcap things and they are classic matte dots. So let's put those on. How about if we get the truck on first? Yeah, he's doing quite the wheelie today. So wait till I pull out all the colors I used. When I pull them out, you're going to think that's a lot of colors. But at the end, it was like, what color do I color that one? Because I've already got green and I've got the colors already represented by them. Okay, so let's do the ribbon. The ribbon. This is... I'm not sure. This is inside paper. So the inside paper, I cut it to four by four and a quarter. So make sure, like that doesn't fit right. This way it fits right. So we're gonna stamp here at the bottom. I showed you the inside, didn't I? Just a tree. So the gifts finally arrived, and now here comes the tree. That's the plan. Just because I didn't want that same truck driving through here with all those gifts, that would have been much too much to color. Okay, so ribbon. Ribbon. I love this. I love how it matches with crumb cake. Crumb cake paper. So I'll put it now. I'm gonna fold it. But I want it to fit on here. So I want the bottom to be right about there. And then the fold, I want it right about there. So now I know where to cut it. Okay. Then make it look like a scarf by pulling this. There's always one side that gives me troubles. So if ever you have it, see how it keeps on getting jammed up on that side? Just right up the edge right next to this kind of edge seam. Now, when you pull it out, it makes a mess, but it frays much easier. Much easier. Oop. Needs a little bit more of a cut. It's doing that thing again. Okay. Oop, another one is wanting to pull out. Get out of there. Don't forget me. Okay. That's it. No more. Now, the other side... That side's behaving. It's got to be human error. Okay, getting out of control here. I'm going to end it. Okay. Good. Look at the color difference. This is more brown, and that's more like vanilla. Okay, so this is going to go on the back of this. And I'll fold it in half. And then at the bottom, kind of just separate it. Maybe an extra quarter of an inch. Here's the fold. 
And there's the frayed scarf. Oh, I didn't put the other piece on, the other ribbon. That's okay. We're going to get it. We're going to get it on there. Okay, so this one. I want it to be about there at the end. And I want to see the little loop. Okay. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger and trim it. What are these called? White and black. This is in the annual catalog. I tried to use the vanilla, but um, my whole card is all white. And then that other one, that is, and I'll list all the products used on my, um, my blog, the web post, and also in the description. That is Copper and Natural Ribbon Combo Pack. So this needs to come off so the other one can go on first. Little fold. Just want to see the top of it right in the middle. Perfect. And now this one again. Okay, and then to attach this, I could put dimensionals, but if the ribbon starts to, because see how it's not fully stuck down, I'm going to put tear tape over the top. That's why I have this here. And it's just going to kind of lock it into place. And I'm going to leave it with the paper on it and put dimensionals around it. Okay, oops. It's not going anywhere. There. Hold it some more. Okay, a little gift. Dimensionals. That ribbon is stuck. It's not moving. Okay, so this goes right in the middle. <gasps> Isn't that cute? Maybe up a little higher. I'm looking at how much ribbon shows here and how much is there. I like just a little fringe and I like that amount. This one, I kind of wish I did it up a little bit higher because this is all getting in the words. Actually, I had to trim it with my snips. Oh, we didn't do the hubcap thingies. Classic matte dots. Okay. Two of them for two tires. Oh, and you know the punch. There is part of the punch. The punch does four, four different things. The punch does the truck, the tire, the fender, and the window. And I really wanted to do this um, tire and fender, like have these kind of popped out a little bit more 3D. But I kind of wasn't feeling it. So may maybe those punches are for something else because this is the fender. And this is the wheel. And to me, it doesn't punch it out too good. But may maybe this is for something else. I, I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. So I put it over, and I even tried coloring one. You could see the, the um, bumper on there, and I'm like, <gasps> maybe, maybe another time. For right now, yeah. <gasps> Look how cute that is. We need one more. This one can go... Like it is, it's rolling on out of there. It's ready to go over the bump and find its recipient. So 
flying up out of there. Okay. Outside is done. So inside, before we do it, again, check the paper. It goes this way. So let's do the truck with the tree. Or should I do a whole bunch of trucks with trees? I know. Let's do this one a little different. I like the pile of gifts though. That is cute. So we can have this one with the gifts. Just one stack of gifts. And this one bring in the tree. It didn't stamp very good. Let me try it. I'll take whatever whatever one turns out best. Okay. Gifts. Tree. Stuff is coming. Stuff is coming on in. Okay, here's gifts. Should I do one? Okay, I'll do one more. This can have one double. But see, I get carried away stamping like, oh, one more would be cute. But then I have to I have to color it. I always seem to forget that. Gifts. Lots of gifts. And then the tree. The tree is cute. And you could do two-step stamping with this, but I, I like how it looks being colored. If I cut out another mask, I could do another tree. Well, maybe I can do it like this. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Now I'll do shadows. Because these, these guys are on level ground. They're, they're cruising. Cruising. It's cruising. Okay. And the rest is just coloring. Okay, here we go. Color fast. You ready to see all these colors? Don't cringe. Yeah. Okay, so all the trucks, I guess I could do different colored trucks. <gasps> no, I don't, I don't want to think too hard. These are red trucks, they're just festive. Actually, they're poppy parade trucks. And I like to do two layers of color just to get a good solid color. See, this is gonna take a minute. You don't like coloring, do one truck. <gasps> Colored outside the line. Can you believe it's already November? It's like, what happened to this whole year? Well, they say, time flies when you're having fun. It's a whole year of fun. You could fast forward through this if you want. Watching someone color, a few people have said, I don't mind it at all, which is very kind, but it's okay. Okay, let's get serious about this coloring.
Okay, next I'll go through and I'll do the um, Poppy Parade Dark for a few shadows. And then at the end, if you look at the markers, what did they say in kindergarten? Look at the picture. Which one doesn't match? Which one doesn't belong? I have a, a pen in here, which has become one of my new favorite things. And it's a super fine point pen. And after I get done coloring everything in, if there's an area that didn't stamp well in black, I use that pen to kind of fix it. I'll show you. I'm sure there's somewhere on here. Especially trying to load up those gifts. A few shadows. Okay, needs a little bit of blending, not too much. Okay, then the tires are black light. For the steering wheel, and the tires. And I guess that's an axle, or is it a hubcap? I think I'll start with coloring the um, the trees first because they are simply spruce light and dark. Okay. Spruce. There'll be some gifts in spruce. This is a double tree house. How many Christmas trees do you have? I would like to say we have two, but on Halloween, we went to Bingo Bash to benefit PEO, and I got an early bingo, and I went over and I said, is a tree still available? They had a fully decorated tree. And um, that was what I chose. She still hasn't called me. Somebody took down my info and she goes, I'll call you. I'm like, okay. But I haven't heard. Well, this is light. I'm going to start with dark. But I mentioned it to Tony. I'm like, Guess what we have coming? And of course he kind of rolled his eyes. He's like, we already have two trees. Why do we need another one? And then we decided it could be for the dog. It could be on the front porch and we could decor decorate it with like dog ornaments. 
I just like, who thought, who, that, that, that's what Tony's thinking. I would have never thought like that. But anyhow, it was fully decorated, and I think it was supposed to come decorated. But when people won, they went in there and they were taking the, um, the ornaments off. And Ruby came over to me and she goes, people are, did somebody took the wreath that was on it? Somebody took, they're taking the ornaments. And I was thinking, ah, that's okay. I like to, I have plenty of ornaments. So we'll see what comes eventually. Hopefully. Okay, green packages. You know, I was thinking, because this card um, has accents of crumb cake, I should have done it in a whole bunch of neutral packages. So I thought that, but then I changed my mind because this one is a real happy. Lots of festive colors. So it's okay to be festive, bright colors, random colors. So this is red, real red. And the truck is, I just went outside the line. The truck is Poppy Parade. We did spruce. Au jour. Yeah, some of these, because the gift goes to, it just ends. I can make it longer. Nah. Well, then it's just kind of floating out there. But if I continue that line. Pull up my little handy pen. I'll show you up close when I do the pen part. Not that it's hard or anything. It's just very convenient. Okay, Tahitian Tide. Tahiti, that sounds really good. And how about this one? Almost done. Okay, I need that bright green. Yeah. What is this? Parakeet party. Okay, this one, the bow can be in parakeet. Maybe I should have left it white. And this gift can be in parakeet. And maybe a little bit of daffodil. See all these colors. That one, that should be in red because it, it's a continuation of that wrapped package. And that one will just be white, red. Okay, we are done. Okay, I'm gonna show you my fancy marker. And this I got on Amazon, Micron. I've got a bunch of them. They're different thicknesses. This is PN. This is 005. 
I think I have three of them somewhere. Look how tiny it is. Okay. This is why you need a micron. Oh, I had to finish this bottom one. It's kind of hard to do it when I'm holding it up. So any of these gifts, like this red bow, I went outside the line. So I'm just going to make the bow, the outline a little bit bigger. So it doesn't look like I went that far outside the line. I wonder if I could do it with this one too. Because I went outside the line. Yeah. Mm, I think that's it. Okay. We're, we're almost done. We could stick it on the inside. And I think that's it. So what do you think? You like this one? Which is your favorite? One, two, or three? One. They're all kind of fun folds. This is... Oops. That was loud. That's two. One, two. And then there is this one. Three. Which is your favorite? Stay open. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, that's it for today's project. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.